welcome to Now About Lane. Um, this week I've been testing out a new product on the market. Um, it's from a company called Letco. Letco. Sorry, Lecto. Uh, uh, fuels. Uh, what they do is they produce um, night briquettes for the stove um, with claims that they burn for eight hours so no more getting up in the middle of the night to restock the stove with coal um, you could throw one of these in on the top of some burning embers um, just before you go to bed and then in the morning you'll get up and your boat will be lovely and warm so they reached out to me or should I say I reached out to them and said you know by all means send me some and I'll give them a little test now I'll be completely open and honest. I didn't pay for them. They sent me a, a pack of the night briquettes to trial out um, so that I could give any conclusions, uh, possibly recommend them. It didn't really go very well, to be fair. Um, I tested. They, they, they recommend that you use two or three, they say. Um, but... I couldn't fit three in there. I'll, 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 I'll go into more detail in a minute and I'll show you what I mean. Um, they don't really burn. They sort of just glow red um, and just sort of keep glowing red until they turn to ash, if it makes sense. I'm not being very clear, but um, the, the, the amount of ash that's produced um, is quite a lot. Um, which I've explained to them would be an issue for boaters because it means that we've got to store it until we can uh, dispose of it correctly. The the heat was, like I say, you get a sudden blast of heat for the first hour or whatever of them being on, but after that, they 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 but seem to burn down to like just embers, which wasn't anywhere near enough to keep the boat warm um, until first thing in the morning. Um, they said they come in a pack of 20 um, for I believe it's about 22 pounds when you compare this next to the coal um, coal of a night time as you'll all know keeping a keeping the coal burning on your stove keeping your stove in is a bit of an art form it takes a, a, a while of trial and error to figure out how and it works best for you how you can mm -hmm. keep it keep it working properly um but i'm 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 at the point now where i can i can i'm quite good good at it i can put a handful of coal in overnight time shut the vents right down and i know that um of a morning when we get up because i've measured it using my thermometer um that the temperature in the boat when we get up after a handful of coal being on the fire it was around about 18 degrees which is which is comfortable you know um okay yeah we've not had um, a proper horrible cold snap yet we've had a few frosty nights but nothing really to speak of but yeah that using the coal um we, we were we were getting up and we were comfortable we weren't like shivering like we were last year running around with 17 jumpers on right compare that so a handful of coal what we're talking for a bag of coal we're talking nine pound handful of coal a night uh, if you were just going to use one bag just for your overnight coal if you're with me so I, you know, I can sort of like try and describe the usage a handful of coal out of a bag of coal each night a bag will probably gonna last you easily a week you know um, or, or even more than that and that's at nine pound for a bag now when you compare that to these um, briquettes let me show you one hang on a second bear with me This is on. When you bear in mind that once you put two of these in at twenty pounds for twenty, it's a little bit more than twenty pounds, but for twenty pounds for twenty, and you're using two of these, they're going to last you ten days. You can have a lot of ash in the morning um, to get rid of, and you're not really going to feel the benefit of them. Um, I am assured, and, and don't get me wrong, that, you know that they're they're a great little firm. And like I say, they, they they sent me free of charge just to because they were that confident about them working. Um, they they've also assured me that 
um, what most people tend to do is they'll buy the the box and you get 20 in a box um, and that most people buy a box to have a little test out and once they they're that happy with them they do assure me that most of their customers return and buy in bulk and then the price comes right down um, I did say that buying in bulk as a boat is not really an option not unless you've got somewhere that you can store them I mean we're talking like a pallet you know so yeah it, it, it's a non-starter for a boater I think you're not going to get a, a pallet full of these things um, easily stored on your boat uh, not unless you don't want to move anywhere unless you're moored up with like um, somewhere to store them then you know possibly but um, I still believe that um, the reason that coal is still used by boaters is because it's about the best thing you can use I'm afraid to say so the box comes gets delivered to you um, it's like I say they're about a kilo each of those briquettes so the box is about 20 kilos give or take um, something to bear in mind if uh, you've got to shift them about um, also with them being delivered to you you need to be somewhere where they can be delivered to you um, you know obviously if you're a CCR then that might be an issue um, yeah for us it's not really a problem because we're in a uh, we're in a marina so you know we had an address for them to come to so that wasn't an issue um, so hand on heart would I recommend them if I think if you're in a household and you've got somewhere to store like the big pallets then yeah possibly it might be a good goer for you uh, for a boater stick with your coal stick with your coal I think um, I've seen other other videos um, with giving um, trials on other um, alternatives to coal um, I believe the girls on narrowboat experience um, tried the coffee logs um, and I, I, I believe if I remember rightly it was a while ago but I don't think they were too impressed with those neither um, so these these briquettes and these fire logs they're good at, they're good at what they do but I wouldn't over expect their achievements to be honest um, the claims from Letco were that these would last and burn for eight hours. I've, I've not had one burn for anywhere near that at the moment. Um, I've, I've followed their instructions by the letter. Um, also, I know that different stoves and different boats um, have different effects on on burn times, etc. So I've had neighbours try them out as well. Uh, my good my good friend and neighbour Peter um, I'll give him a few to try and he was of the same opinion unfortunately um, yeah they're okay you get that sudden kick of heat um, but it doesn't last very long and um, yeah the downsides uh, well they're not really downsides you know I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna slate them but I mean they, they are what they are they you know they, they do what they say to a certain extent um, but as an alternative to coal both cost and just the logistics of it I'd say hand on heart stick with coal um, yeah so that's let go where uh, let go logs hang on a sec so this is the box that they come in like I say you get 20 in a box um, and they it's gonna be about 20 20 kilos or so that box when it's full um, yeah so that that's the name of name of the firm they're advertised a lot on Facebook at the moment so yeah I mean don't you know I can only tell you what I've found um, but by all means if you wanted to try yourselves then get in touch with them I found them to be completely um, affable they they went out their way to to send me these things free of charge like I said um, for a test um, but they they, they seem like a, a decent firm with uh, some nice people working there so you know I'm not I'm not slating them completely but I, ju I just think for a boat and for our purposes they they're just they're not very good okay yeah so there you go um, in conclusion Lecto uh, fuels brilliant brilliant little company um, they're just starting out I believe could be wrong 
could be wrong. Um, but yeah, they they they're very helpful. Um, they they if you if you message them, um, that they, they they contact you on Messenger through Facebook, I believe. Well, they certainly that's how they've been doing it with me. Um, and any questions I have for them um, regarding delivery dates, uh, etc. Um, they're very quick to respond. Um, they uh, they they don't tr ignore you or try and shy away from any awkward questions or anything like that. They're, they're more than happy to um, go the extra mile to make sure that you've got what you need. Um, price wise, they're very um, on on point with um, similar products on the market. They're not they're not charging any more or any less. Um, I believe I, I'm led to believe that it, you know in a household, like I say. If you've got plenty of space for plenty of space for storage, and you can buy bulk, the price comes down, which would make it more um, achievable for you to have more of a happy experience with them. Um, but I've made it clear to them; they're a bit worried that anything mm. I, I say may, may um, you know, harm them. I'm not. This not that's not what this video is about at all. It's just purely for a boating aspect. Um, especially on my channel, where you know all my subscribers will know by now. That it's about doing things um, as cost effectively as you can um, and from that point of view that standpoint alone um, the amount of these briquettes that I believe that you'd have to burn to make them comparable with um, coal or throwing a hardwood log in overnight to keep that heat in for the morning um, yeah they, they, it's not as good it's not as good stick with your coal in, in my opinion um, but by all means, if you want to try them out yourself, um, Lecto, um, Lecto Wood Fuels, you'll find them on Facebook, but you'll also find them online. Um, and, and just feel free to, you know, get in touch with them yourself, have a little chat with them yourself. They're, they're completely approachable and they'll be able to um, listen to you, any concerns you may have, perhaps give you some better advice about how, how you'd use them. Um, it does come with a little um, how-to slip in the box so i did i did follow the instructions by the letter because i didn't want to um, give an unfair appraisal of them but yeah in my experience stick with your coal you're going to use a handful of coal overnight just to keep it bubbling away and you're going to wake up to that lovely snuggly warm glow in the morning um it may well be in your boat on your stove the same would be achievable with these logs uh, with these briquettes um it just wasn't that way in my experience and also my neighbours. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's Lecto Wood Fuels. Um, yeah, stick with your coal. See you soon.